All right, we're gonna wrap up the uh, second half of chapter 7.3 here. And the last example we just had was the cost of the large beverage, which is 40% more than the cost of the small beverage. And we already um, worked through that in the previous video. So just a couple of reminders here though. Um, two things to note here, okay? If an amount is increased by X percent, then the new amount is 100 plus X of the original. And remember, of is, of means to multiply. So you're gonna need, we'll, we'll use that later on. But when we say we have a certain percent increase, that increases X and you have to add it to 100. So 100 times or plus X is the amount, the in percent increase. And then that's gonna be multiplied by the original amount. Now, if you have an amount decreased by X percent, then we would say that would be 100 minus X percent is left. And we'll take a look at that as we talk through the examples here, okay? So let's continue here. Um, a box says to use three ounces of a powdered milk drink mix and add enough water to make 16 ounces. So you're gonna take three ounces of the powdered drink mix and you're gonna subtract that from 16 ounces um, so that you can get the amount of water that is used. So we're gonna have 16 ounces minus three that gives us 13 ounces of water. Okay, then let's go back to the problem here. So we have, we're gonna make a total of 16 ounces of this drink. And we already calculated earlier, we need 13 ounces of water to make the total amount of 16 ounces here and then it says what percent of the drink is water so if three ounces of the powdered drink mix the powdered drink is three ounces the amount of water is 13 ounces and the total is 16 ounces then what percent of the drink is water so that means you're going to take a look here. The percent of the whole is equal to the part. So what percent of the water or of the total, the total drink, which is 16 ounces, equals water, which is 13 ounces. So what percent of the 13 out of 16 ounces is water and so our final answer actually is you take 13 divided by 16 we end up with 81.25 percent of the drink is water that means 13 percent or 13 ounces which is the water is 81.25 percent of the 16 ounces of the drink all right, there's our problem again. And then here we have, um, just to recap, okay? So how much of the, how much water is used? 13 ounces of water is used. We got that from 16 ounces minus the three ounces of the powder. And then how, or what percent of the drink is water? Our total drink is 16 ounces. What percent is the 13 ounces of water out of the 16 ounce of drink? 
and that gave us 81.25%. Alright, the next example. If a jetliner was filled with 85% of its capacity, how many of the 240 seats were empty? So first we have to take a look at the percent. We have 85% was filled. But then we look at the question, how many of the 240 seats were empty? So that's the opposite of the amount that was filled. So 15 or 85% here, we subtract that from 100 because that's a decrease or how many seats were empty. Okay, 85% were filled. How many were empty? That means 15% of the seats were empty. And then so 15% of the 240 seats were empty. Of means times, so 0 0.15 times 240 is equal to the number of empty seats that we have. And so that's going to be 0 0.15 times 240, and then we get 36 seats. All right, for our last example here, what is the total cost of a used car after an 8% sales tax is added to the $5,000 price of the vehicle? So we're adding, okay, we're adding the percent, adding 8% sales tax. So our percent is going to be 100 plus 8% and we get 108%. Then we multiply because that's 108% of the price of the vehicle, $5,000, is going to give us the total cost. So 108% of the original price, $5,000, equals the total cost. And when we calculate that, you should get $5,400 is the total cost of the used car. All right, now you get to try your hand at some of these problems. You're going to complete on page 279, exercise B, numbers 13 through 25. And make sure you show all of your work. Just take each word problem step by step. First, look at whether it's an increase or a decrease. And then break down the phrases in each of the word problems and see if you can translate them into a numerical phrase and solve your problems there. Have fun.